How's it going guys? It's Thomas on Planet Tech and welcome back to another video. So today I'm at my, actually my local Lego show. Um, I'm at Reading Brick Show and uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a look at some of the Lego Star Wars mocks. In fact, all of the Lego Star Wars mocks on display. Some we have seen before at Bricktastic, um, but some uh, are definitely new. So I'm looking forward to showing you guys um, and all the links uh, as much as I can will be in the description down below. So make sure to check out the social media uh, platforms that all these guys are showing their mocks on. Because uh, they're, they're, like I said in the last video, they're the heroes of these videos. Um, they're, the, they're the people slaving away, making these models for us to all enjoy. So give a like on this video, and then after the video, like I said, go head over to their pages. And uh, yeah, let's start looking at some LEGO Star Wars mocks. Okay, so we've got a selection of custom figures here, some purists, some custom printed by the looks of things as well. And these are from H2 Brick on uh, YouTube and Instagram. You probably got, you guys probably know Noah. Some really cool figures here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but most of these are Star Wars stuff. Look very, very nice. Got some more up here as well. Yeah, some of these really, really sweet custom figs across various different styles of media. So yeah, awesome little display there from uh, from Noah. Next up we have Rogue Banther on Instagram or Tim Goddard and we've got some micro scale or mini scale Star Wars builds. So we've got the 501st ATT and a little ATRT as well. That ATRT looks really cool. We've got some Volta droids there. My favorite TIE vehicle, the TIE Striker. That looks really nice. The printed cockpit. Very, very cool indeed. We've got the Razor Crest. Loads of detail on that. Those yellow stripes as well. Very, very nice. AT Hauler picking up an ATST. Very, very nice that. I like that a lot. The dark red really pops against the white. We got the, I think it's the Scorponek droid versus the Banther from Boba Fett. Very, very cool. Very, very topical at the moment. Coming down here, we got some X Wings and A Wing. I'm not quite sure what uh, what that one's called. <laughs> um, but uh, but really cool color scheme nonetheless. We've got the Gungan on his Kadoo here. I think it's a Kadoo. I'm gonna get awful with these names, but that is sweet. And then last but certainly not least, possibly my favorite maybe, um, all because we've got that mini Boba Fett in the cockpit there, but this is obviously Boba Fett's slave one. So yeah, some really nice micro scale builds here. Onto Sean, his Star Wars creatures and ships. Some of these are really cool. The Razor Crest there, very nice. We've got the Solo Falcon, which looks sweet. That's like my favorite version of the Falcon, I think. The white and the blue looks very nice. And then onto some of the creatures. I'm gonna, I can't remember most of these names. So we've got the Ugnaught there with, uh, with Mando. You'll have to let me know in the comments all the uh, the names to these. This is from 2003 Clone Wars, which I love. That's really sick. We've got a Banther here. We've got the Taunt on there on Hoth. Very nice. Dewback with those uh, with those uh, Sand Troopers. 
This brick built one for the actually looks sick. Like I really like that. And I'm not massively fan of brick built animals, especially when we've got moles from already, but that looks very nice indeed. And then coming over to the back here, we've got some three different colored rancors. Very nice indeed. We got Boba Fett on his throne with Fennec there. We've got Boga here. Is it Vectral, I think, is the is the name of the actual creature, but Boga is the name of the one that Obi Wan rode. Then we've got the animals from the Geonosis Arena. I know that the back one's an Acklay, we've got the Reek, and I can't remember the, the name of the third one, the Padme fight, so yeah, you have to let me know in the comments down below. And then we've got a little scene here from Tatooine as well. Very, very nice. A very cool way to display uh, these animal builds. So this is from uh, Brick.Sheeper, um, and you can go to Instagram um, and get uh, free instructions to build a load of these animals. And I think I'm definitely going to be building the. Uh, I'm definitely going to be building Boga because I like that a lot, and maybe one of those Rancors as well. But yeah, these are very, very nice. So this next mock is from Simon Scott and it's the Jabba's Palace and Rancor Pit. Now if you watch my every Lego Star Wars mock from Bricktastic you'd have seen a bit of this um, and I got the footage from uh, from Kerry from uh, Brickapix but uh, yeah Simon unfortunately got his figures stolen at Manchester so took it off display um, but it's good to see that he's replaced them with some fake figs and uh, has got it back on display uh, so we can take a closer look now with uh, with all these figs. This is really, really cool. Gamorian Gar, Boba Fett in the back there. Bib Fortuna, Jabba. Yeah, just re recreating the scene from uh, from Return of the Jedi. But yeah, this is really, really cool. And then we've got that Rancor down there as well. Poor Ula. Some skeletons in there as well. But yeah. Really nice build. I'm glad this is back on display. I'm glad Simon's got some figures uh, to showcase this mock because it's a sweet build. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. That would be hugely appreciated. And like I said before, go check out all the links in the description to all these awesome, fantastic, very talented builders because uh, they're the guys creating all this wonderful stuff for us to enjoy. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.